We've got a 7 p.m. Eastern Time game on ESPN TCU at Texas Tech. Uh, Texas Tech, a two and a half point home dog here, total of 60 and a half. A look, I, I've gone back and forth on this. TCU three and six against the spread against Texas Tech since they've joined the Big 12. They are only five and four straight up against the Red Raiders. This is very interesting. Texas Tech, I, I don't, I don't trust them to be able to run the ball. However. Their passing game, even after Tyler Shuck went out with an injury, has still been pretty good with Henry Columbia. So TCU has got problems all over the field. They got holes in the secondary, etc. I don't know what TCU team shows up. This is another one of those situations where TCU kind of put everything they had into that Texas game. So the games before it and after it, how much do we, how much do we expect them to be able to do that? Right. So they're they're a two and a half point favorite on the road. They're not. I don't think they're great in Lubbock. Like I, I'm going to roll with the Horn Frogs here because I expected them to be better at the beginning of the season. They're dealing with some. I think they're dealing with some injuries on defense. I'm still going to roll with TCU minus two and a half. I think they're just going to give it to Zach Evans. They're going to let him do his thing. They should be able to run the ball on Texas Tech. So let me let me take TCU minus two and a half. It's less than a field goal. I, I think they can win. They can win by that. So we're 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 agreeing again. It's boring. But, but yeah, I, I like TC. I like Gary Patterson. Listen, I think this is going to be a close game. I think it's going to be a tight game, but it's only two and a half points. I'm okay with that. That doesn't scare me. And, and, and I'll take the team. I think it's going to win the game if that's, if that's the, the spread. Yeah. Yeah. That's a, like I said, this is one that, that kind of terrifies me after that Texas game. I mean, I really thought that TCU was going to be. I thought they would be a Big 12 competitor, and they just have not been thus far. My line on the game was actually TCU minus 7, so I felt like I needed to go that direction, but, man, that defense has been putrid. Putrid. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.